get him here. It's actually cleaning me. What? Come on, am I that dirty? They certainly don't look like much now. Oh, look, there's a little tree. Where? What? Leo, do you want to go to the pet store and go look at coral? Go, 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 get your bag. Oh, and we also have to get water. So today we are going to go to the pet store, our favorite pet store, Beverly's Pet Center, and we are going to look at some coral and probably buy some, because I can't just look. <laughs> come on, come on. Don't, you don't need to stretch. Get in your bag, come on, get in your bag. Get in your bag, good boy. Get in your bag, good boy. That's a good boy we are looking for. This definitely has to be the most water we've gotten in one sitting in a very long time. Let's go. Sweet, what you see? Yeah, these are whiskers. Mm. What? Because you're over there in the back. They always have new koi in here. They're always like changing them out. Oh, it's so cute. So they have a whole tank of the one that we got last time, that big zoo polyp, but ours looks way better. Look at these little anemones in the bucket. Baby, those are, yeah, look at those. Pink tube anemone, look at that. Oh, it's fake. Look at this. It's a Glowing large. like an alien. He's sleeping in his bed. Oh, and they even have baby flounders. I want one of these little guys so bad. I want one, a baby flounder. The red dragonettes on fire. Ooh, we're liking those palizoas back there. And some other mushroom to go along with it. And these Masalaya corals, woo! And some green gonies for the win. Mm, that looks snazzy right there. And I want that one specific one. Yep. So you know what that means. It's time to bag it up, baby. Shh. And that one was the birthday surprise. Quick. Quick, somebody cut. Oh, wait, you! Get me out of here! What do they have here? Always, when you enter or leave, there is a puppy. What a masterful marketing tactic. Goodness. I was gonna go to pay and I forgot we have all this water. All right, A1A fam, so we had our full trip to the pet store today, and now we are gonna go home and bring these corals into their new tank and acclimate them, and they are gonna look outstanding. Our coral tank is going great. I'm very excited to add these additions to the tank. Stay tuned. So we're at the pet store around all these beautiful corals. It's just so hard to choose, but time to decide. Stay tuned for the next vlog to see what we got one day. So we are back home and now to pull these beautiful gems out. First one. One by one. First one. The super bright palizoas. They certainly don't look like much now. Oh look, there's a little tree. Where? Right there. What? Oh, sweet. We even got a little Kenyan tree coral on the bottom as a bonus. What? Okay, it's literally so fragile, it just fell off, but it has a rock base to it, so we will aqua glue it to another rock. Sweet, two for one. So what else we got? Ooh. What, oh. what is it? Ooh, ah, it's the bigger mushroom. I got a different kind of mushroom. They had a nice variety mm -hmm. sort in a big bin, so I got a bigger version because we had one before we had the new light, but it just didn't make it because we didn't have the right light on it. Next one, ba, 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 ba. Mm -mm. 
Mm-hmm. 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 Put that one back. Chica. Oh, it's this one. Oh, I forgot the name of it, but it's in the video. Oh, that is so bright. It is so green. Montezema, Montezema, something like that? I don't know. Masalaya, Masalaya? Okay, so that other one, that's the surprise one. Is that the surprise one again or no? No. Oh, this no. is the one that I picked. Oh, it is. Let me see. Yeah, let's do it on this and the wording isn't there. Oh, that's right, the goni. Yes. Oh, those will be nice and bright. Awesome. And right, so we're gonna take this one out. This one was the surprise one because it's purple. Margot's favorite color is purple, so that'll just look nice in here. <laughs> what? The oh fun God. somewhere. It went all the way to the Molly tank. What? That's tight. Oh. Popping tags on brand new coral. Okay, so we have this little piece of Kenyan tree coral right here that fell off the rock. So we're gonna glue it to another piece of the rock and put it on the sand bed. Let's do it. And we got it. Glued nice and firm using reef glue. Super glue safe for coral. And woo! So in this beautiful bag, we have the big mushroom. Oh no, oh that's, that's your, your goni. This one being the giant mushroom. That was good for the last one. Correct me if I'm saying it wrong, but it's Masalaya or Masalaya coral. This one looked very well started. Let's add it to the tank. Now to let everything acclimate. Just to give you one last overall look of what it looks like before we add these beauties in. And they're going to thrive, I know it. This candy cane coral has blown up and it is swollen every day since we changed to the new light that I did a review and unboxing on. Xenia coral, absolutely love it. And the beautiful Zoas. All right, it's been 30 minutes and it looks well. The water has risen and it's time to add these beauties into this new tank. All right, so we are going with the lovely big old juicy mushroom for the first addition to add to our tank in this video. This mushroom is gonna glow ever so much. It'll be beautiful. Wait and see. Thank you for the towel, sir. Let's see. Ooh, it's already bright. It's already nice and green. Let's get this guy right. Perfect little chosen spot. All right, so now for that bonus coral, the Kenyan tree coral. These things are so cool. They grow pretty big and it's just like a tree. So it needs a little bit of current, a little bit of light. Beautiful and good to go. So apparently I do have a cleaner shrimp in here. It's cleaning my hand and it loves, <laughs> it's actually cleaning me. We didn't even have to buy a cleaner shrimp. You just catch one. So I chose to stick that little beauty right there. Palizoa time. These were the real, real bright ones. Ooh, we're liking those Palizoas. Palizoa time. The color scheme of them, like a green and a purple. So, and I chose that spot right up there. They are gonna grow so beautiful. Those suckers are bright, wait till they open up. Oh, the mushroom that we just put in there less than five minutes ago opened up like times five already. Now for the one AJ chose. The goni. The goni. Green gonies. For this one was really cool. It's on a really tiny little piece of rock, so it's not gonna be too much, oh it's actually, no, it's not even on a rock, it's just raw, see? Pure coral. Pure coral. Right on the back, and then on the front you have these beauties. Wait till they come out, boy, and are they bright. Okay. Oh, and this shrimp will not stop eating my hand, this is crazy! So we chose right there that nice big green patch of goni, the one AJ chose. It's almost as bright as that crypto candy cane coral we have over to the right. Come on, am I that dirty? Get off me. You're like a bug. You're like a bug. Get off me. You're like a bug. And the surprise coral should fit perfectly right. I 
believe it was Recordia, I think. Mm, that looks snazzy right there. But this beauty, another one to admire once it opens up. I'm gonna put it right in this special spot. Perfect. Perfect. Couldn't even ask for a better fit. So excited. They're starting to open up. And for this last beauty, I think we found its only spot, seems to be open, is in the front. And these Masalaya corals, woo! So let's get you there. Another very colorful and beautiful coral. And this bugger won't, it'll hang on to me until my fingers literally come out of the water. Boom, that's it, or else I would have taken you out of the water. Yep, so this is our final product. Everything is pretty much three quarters of the way out and open. We decided to kind of rearrange a little everything, just similar to chess pieces to make sure things kind of flow and it, things aren't gonna interfere with each other or get too close to each other to possibly sting. Because yes, corals will and can sting each other as a part of protecting their own territory and which kind of gives them space to grow. But look at this crazy little shrimpy right here. He's loving these new corals. So thank you so much for watching this video. Stay tuned for other future videos so you could see how these corals will grow and thrive. This is an amazing tank we've started recently. So if you wanna come along for the journey, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Smash the like button on this video. Support this channel. We do this for you guys and for your entertainment. And here you go, AJ wanted a perfect idea to give you guys a transition of all these corals open and thriving. On three. One, two, three. And they are open. just came out to say hi. Wait, where'd you go? Come back out of that hole. The baby mantis shrimp emerged from the abyss. Well, he's certainly kind of shy, but if you go back right before I zoomed in, it's right there in the middle. Look who else just came out to say hi. <laughs> Once again, thank you so much for watching this beautiful coral build as our tank is finally coming along and there's almost not so much space for new coral frags anymore. To all of our fans, thank you so much for the support and the love. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Thank you for being subscribed to our channel. Thank you for staying adventurous. A1A A1A Adventure. They're coming out even more.